Hey everybody, I'm Alex Voronoff. If you've always wanted to cook at home but weren't sure where to start, this video is for you. From what you see on movies and TVs with all the cooking shows and the Iron Chef and the Hell's Kitchen and all that, it looks like it'd be super complicated. All these different measuring devices, all of these different utensils, what do you do with it all? It's actually a lot less complicated to get started than you might think. What you really need are the right tools. Now, obviously, there needs to be recipes, techniques, that sort of thing. But for this video, let's just cover what are the nine essential elements that every good kitchen needs to get started. The first tool you need is an 8-inch kitchen knife. This will cut just about anything, and while it may be a little awkward for peeling fruit, don't worry about it. This will get the job done nine times out of ten. Number two, a cutting board. If I have to tell you why you need a cutting board, maybe you shouldn't be cooking at home. Number three, a 10 inch skillet. While there are a lot of different sizes of skillets, 10 inches is really kind of an all rounder that is good for almost any recipe. One pot about medium to large size, ideally for boiling things like pasta or blanching vegetables. Number five, a set of mixing bowls. This is especially useful if you ever plan on baking anything. Number six, a wooden cooking spoon. Wood is an extremely poor conductor of heat, so when you're mixing together sauces or soups or something like that, you want to use a wooden spoon because you're less likely to injure yourself with it. Number seven, a cookie sheet. Not just for cookies, you can bake a whole range of different stuff on one of these things. Number eight, a spatula. You're using the frying pan, you may as well use the spatula. Trust me, you don't want to fish out an omelet barehanded. Not that I've tried. And number nine, a simple set of measuring cups and spoons. You can eyeball it later on, but when you start out, try to stick to the recipe as relatively close as you can. When baking, you really need the measuring instruments because one screw up and that's it. You wasted all your time. You can get all these items together for less than $100 if you know where to look, which is pretty easy. And with these tools, there are dozens, if not hundreds of recipes you can make right off the bat. You already have the tools you need. Subscribe if you haven't already for more videos like this one all about seeking out new skills and new experiences every Monday and Thursday. I'll see you then.